Hi, I'm Darren at thecampingplace.com and I thought today we would show you how to make a mountain man breakfast out of the Dutch oven. Okay, so we've got some coals that are starting in the fire in the coal chimney and we're going to pull those and pour those on the ground. It takes about 15 minutes for those to catch and get ready to cook. I've got some old briquettes I'm using, so uh, I just kind of have a, a bunch of a bunch of them in there. Some of the old, some older ones, and some newer ones. And we're going to heat up this Dutch oven. Okay, for the Mountain Man breakfast, we need a package of sausage. It could be Jimmy Dean. Um, I found this Bass Farm Country Sausage, 16 ounces. Um, we're going to use a half a dozen eggs. Two pounds of hash browns, or close enough. And I, I didn't find a two pound bag. I found a one, one pound, 12 ounce bag, one pound, 14 ounce bag. So whatever. Um, one onion, diced. One green pepper, diced. And a cup of shredded cheese. And all these ingredients are just to your, to your personal preference. That you can adjust them. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, so let's go ahead and, and get this sausage grilled up. We're basically just cooking the sausage until it browns and then we'll remove it from the heat and get the onions in there. Now I'm no chef so don't look at me to teach you how to cut peppers. I'm probably doing it wrong. I originally told you we're going to use one onion and one pepper but I cut that down in half. I think we had enough here. Like I said just kind of Play by ear, see what see what looks good to you. You don't have to use the exact amount of ingredients. Okay, we're gonna add the onions and peppers to the sausage. Looks good, doesn't it? You're supposed to cook the onions until they're about clear. Um, they're getting close. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put the, the potatoes in here now. I just got some shredded uh, hash brown potatoes. I'm supposed to put about two pounds in. We'll see how much I put in here once I see what it looks like. Depends on how many potatoes you like. I think that's going to be good enough. So I'll probably put in uh, one and a quarter pounds, maybe. I'm just going to stir this all up, and uh, we'll get the lid on here. I'm going to get some coals to add to the lid. I'm going to add some coals to the top. You don't have to be real particular about how many coals you're putting on. It's a very basic recipe. But you typically want twice as many coals on top as you do on the bottom. So if you have 20 coals on top, you want 10 on the bottom. 24 coals on top, 12 on the bottom. The coals on the top will help everything kind of bake, whereas before we had all the heat coming from the bottom to grill the sausage. 
We're supposed to let this sit for about 25 minutes, but I'll continue checking it as we go along to make sure nothing's burning. While we wait for the potatoes to cook, we'll go ahead and get our eggs ready. some food. You want a mountain breakfast too? Huh? Emily, you want some food? Okay, so we're going to do every five, ten minutes, we're going to give the pot a quarter turn and the lid a quarter turn. That will help everything heat evenly. Turn it up a little bit. Looks real good. Well, I've misplaced my lid lifter, so I had to improvise and make a little quick lid lifter out of this stick. So what you do is stick a stick, find a place where a branch comes off of it, cut that off, and then you can lift your lid very easily, just like that. So we're checking our potatoes now. They look like they're about ready. I'm gonna go ahead and put the egg mixture in. that around. Then we're just going to let this steam cook off of the coals because there's enough built up heat in this cast iron oven to cook for quite a few more minutes. And then if, in a few more minutes we will uh, sprinkle cheese over it. Remove all these coals. You don't want to eat coals, Emily. They're not good for your stomach. Alright, I think the eggs are probably cooked well enough. Let's get some cheese in here. I just shredded this cheese. Mild cheddar cheese. Yeah, that looks fine. I'm going to leave a little section without much cheese because Ethan doesn't have, like a whole lot of cheese on his stuff. Okay, we'll let that melt for a few minutes and we'll serve it up. Okay, cheese is melted. Let me get this scooped up onto the plates. The Mountain Man breakfast took us about an hour this morning to do this. It takes a little longer than making instant oatmeal, but I think it's well worth it. Mountain Man Breakfast is a great way to start your morning. As long as you don't have to get up early and take off for a hike or something, and you have time to spend some time in your camp kitchen, Mountain Man Breakfast is a breakfast I highly recommend you try. Um, it might be a good idea to practice at home first, like we're doing right now. Um, practice at home before you get out in the in the woods and at your campground. That way you don't, uh, if you make any mistakes, you can do it at home. Uh, but let's see how this thing tastes. Tastes great. Everything's done. I hope you have fun with your mountain brand breakfast. Bye.